Well, there is a lot to sort through these days concerning COVID. Experts can't seem to agree on masks or booster shots, even protocols for when kids go back to school. And on top of all of it, some neighborhoods here in New York City are now seeing an uptick in cases. Joining us now, the New York City Health Commissioner, Dr. Dave Choksky. Dr. Choksky, thanks for being with us. Thanks as always for having me, Lori. So why are we seeing some specific neighborhoods are seeing this uptick? I mean, it's not across the board for sure. That's right. Um, we are seeing in some places in New York City um, that cases are on the rise, uh, particularly in Staten Island, uh, but also in other parts of the city from the Brooklyn to the Bronx to Queens. The common thread is it's in places where uh, there are still uh, a large number of people who remain unvaccinated. And that's because we know the virus is an opportunist. It will find the cracks in our armor um, and get to them. And the new Delta variant means that it is perhaps the most dangerous time for people to remain unvaccinated. So how do you reach these people? We, you know, it's like a broken record. We've been telling them, but I, I think that many of them are getting advice from other people that, that they respect, that, that say you should not get it because it can be harmful or it's really not gonna do anything. Well, we all have a part to play, and I encourage your listeners, you know, if you have someone in your life who has been on the fence or who has been waiting, uh, what I hear is that some people were just waiting for the right time. Um, we all have to make the case that that time is now, uh, both to protect oneself, to protect your loved ones, but also to protect our community. Um, that's a really important part of it. Another thing that's very important is ensuring that doctors and pharmacists, you know, the people whom we all trust for our own health care, that they're also part of this effort and having the conversation at every opportunity about why it's so important to get vaccinated right now. What's your take on Pfizer pushing for the COVID booster? They have talked with other regulators and scientists and they're moving forward with this. At the same time, we hear that CDC, the FDA says, no, you don't really need boosters right now. Yes, I think the announcement was premature because the science does not indicate that a booster is needed uh, at this moment. But with that said, I do support uh, that there should be studies done um, figuring out uh, whether we need a booster shot and if so, when and for whom. For example, will it be needed for people who are immunocompromised? So we do need those studies to occur, but we also need to wait for the results from them to ensure that it actually makes sense. But right now, I don't wanna mince words. The most important thing is to get as many people their first shots rather than worrying about their third shots. So don't pay attention when J&J &J comes out and says, oh, by the way, there's a neurological um, issue that you could have possibly. Now, we know it's a small percent, but it's these things that add up that people, it just gives them more of a defense to say, no, I'm not gonna get it. I do understand, and you know, as someone who had the Johnson and Johnson vaccine myself, um, you know, I, I understand people's concerns when they hear that. But we have to put it all into perspective. Uh, what was most recently announced um, is a very rare uh, side effect, and we can still clearly, clearly state that the benefits of all of the authorized COVID-19 vaccines far outweigh the risks. Let me give you another piece of evidence to support that. Um, almost all of the people who are currently being hospitalized mm -hmm. or dying uh, from the coronavirus are people who are unvaccinated. So we know the vaccines offer strong protection, particularly against severe illness. You know, one last question, you know, France is making it mandatory for everybody. If they want to go to a cafe, they got they have to get uh, their vaccination. 926,000 people booked an appointment. What would it take in America, seriously, for people to get the vaccination? Um, well, I do think we're going to start uh, hearing about more of that across the United States. Um, but I go back to the first principles here, which is um, New York City in particular, we banded together. Um, we fought back from such dark days during the pandemic. And so uh, we have to reach into that same place, you know, that same sense of community and camaraderie. Uh, get as many people vaccinated as possible, particularly to protect people who cannot yet get vaccinated themselves, whether it's children or you know other people who have a contraindication. Um, and that's what's gonna be required for us to weather this next phase um, and get to that return to some semblance of normal that we have all been hoping for. 
All right, Dr. Dave Chucksky joining us tonight. Commissioner, it's always good to have you on. Appreciate the time. Thanks, as always.